I, I can just feel that person just Scottish Highlands. Today's video is sponsored by Highland Titles and I became a lady of the land. Yep, you are looking at Lady Isabel of the Scottish Highlands. This is a family business since 2006 and they've been delighting thousands of people across the world with this unique and personalized experience. For as little as $30, you can become part of something extraordinary and contribute to the preservation of Scotland's breathtaking landscapes. Highland Titles started as a movement to restore degraded farmland to its natural state. By selling souvenir plots as gifts, the company generated funds to purchase more land in order to restore its flora and fauna. As trees and hedges were planted on the land, more wildlife graced the area, including several endangered species. They even have an otter cam following the thriving otter community in the area. And last year, they rescued owls, nursed them back to health, and released them into the wild. Now you can become a lady, lord, or laird of the glen yourself by visiting highlandtitles.com. You can also gift it to someone dear to you. There's a special discount code for the Imagination family. Just click the link in the description box or the pinned comment to get 25% off your purchase. Enjoy the video. I 
can just feel that person just feelings may be absolute bogus and you shouldn't believe everything that your mind tells you because your mind is wrong a lot of the time so don't take every single thing that your mind thinks too seriously because your mind could you know convince you that you're ugly could convince you that you're worthless or you know that you don't deserve anything so don't listen to mind too much and start, you know, listening to your heart a little bit more. That can really help. All right, so when I was in high school, I was um, held back twice. That's a bad start, right? <laughs> so, um, the first time was in, you know, when I was like 12 or 13 was my first high school year, freshman year is what it's called in America, I think. And I was bullied severely up until the point where it just wasn't safe for me anymore. And my parents uh, took me, got me from the really edges kind of freed me from that school. <laughs> That's how I felt. And, um, and so I had to do the freshman year again. That was the first time that I was held, um, one year back. And the second time was, I think, in third or fourth. Um, you know, you have, um, this is the really stupid, but, um, Mafo, Hafo, and um, Fabio. So you have like, it's uh, three degrees, you know, three heights of, of, of theoretical. It's just the highest is the most theoretical, and the lowest is still, the lowest sucks. I, I don't like that, but just for making it easier, the lowest is more um, doing with your hands, learning it. And I started in the lowest, and then I got in the middle, and then I got in the highest, but the highest. So the Fabio, you had to do a lot of homework, and as a teenager, I loved working at my parents' gym. I was there every single night, and I didn't do any homework, so I couldn't keep up uh, with the, the highest, so I was held back. So, and then I wanted to do, I'm sorry if you hear this, there are like terror birds around my house. And sometimes I actually think that they are going to like attack my cat when he's playing in the garden. Okay, well, we'll just So yeah, that was not the best start on trying to be ahead in life, you know. And then, um, you know, you have a, a second, you have college, 
you know, you have high school, then you have college in the Netherlands, and I started college, and then my parents almost went bankrupt. You know, their, their business was doing really bad. I, I quit college, and I started working for them, for that company, their company, full-time. And I, I moved back in with my parents. So this was when I was, I think, 20 or something. Again, really behind. And if you look at it from a different perspective, ahead. Because I was, I was already entering the work field at 20. And then I became, you know, manager. And I felt like I was really ahead in life. At 21, I became co-owner of the gyms. My parents had three gyms. And I felt more, be more ahead in life. I was like, yeah, I felt so cool. You know, at 21, I owned a, a house. I bought my, my first apartment. I was a co-owner of a company. I was like, Maybe I want to travel, maybe I want 
some people this is just fine and they are super happy 
I see you, and I'm so sorry if if you struggle, and just know that um, you are good just the way you are, and just where you are right now. You are a whole person, complete. You don't have to change or add sparkles or whatever. You, uh, situation does not define you, even though that is super hard to really grasp, you know. All right. So that got deep. <laughs> this whole, whole ramble video got so deep. Oh my gosh. All right, sweetheart. Someone relaxing because I felt like I went on a rant. <laughs> but thank you so much for following me. And, um, you know, if you want to share anything about this, these topics, then please do in the comment section.